welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And tonight I have a DIY for you. And it's Christmas. I'm super excited about this, so I wanted to get it out. Um, so we're going to use the Santa. However, I broke this off. But we're going to paint on this side. But I wanted it to be able to hang flat. And you can see from the back some of this so I just broke it off you don't have to you could paint both sides but we're gonna paint the back side of Santa and what we're gonna use is my handy dandy sharpie paint pen we are gonna use paint I have white red and green uh, maybe a little glitter we'll see uh, plate to have my paint on, a Grinch face, and I'm using carbon paper. You don't have to. You could just draw on the back of this with lead pencil and do it, but I'm going to use my carbon paper because I have it. So, obviously we're making a Grinch on this, and a pencil, an eraser, scissors, sandpaper maybe if you have any rough spots, nothing major. So I'm going to flip you around and then we're going to get started. This is going to take, because it has to dry, it might take overnight. Now there's a hole in here. I'm leaving it because this may get hung or it might just sit somewhere, but I'm going to leave the hole this time. And if you can see, I took a pencil and I kind of just sketched out where I'm going to paint the main color blocks. And I may or may not outline in black. We'll see how I'm feeling. Oops. I'm also loading a video right now. Oh, and I've got crazy hair. All right, let's flip you around. I'm super excited. I love the Grinch. It's my favorite. Okay, one moment. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to mention some paint brushes that I just have. So like I said, I took a spackle knife and I wedged or I use it to get these raised, because they're raised. If you can see that, there's a lip to it. And like I said, you don't have to take it off. I did, and I didn't really need to, because look what a mess it made on the back. But it's the back, and I'm not too worried about it. Um, but it does kind of compromise the thickness right here, but it's fine. It's just glued on there better than most Dollar Tree stuff. But we're using the back side. As I said, and we're gonna be doing a Grinch. Now, can you see the pencil marks? I went in with a pencil and I kind of sketched out where I wanted, sorry for the shadowing, where I wanted the red for the hat, the white for the pom-poms, and the green for the face. And that's what we're gonna do first. First things first. Um, probably we'll start with the red up here. And I'm using red chalk paint. You can use whatever paint you like. Um, I just happen to have this on hand, so that's what we're going to use. And then I have a little styrofoam here. And then I have different colors of green, but I think we're going to go with this green for this Grinch. And I'll need to get out some yellow for his eyes maybe, but we'll see. But right now I'm just putting a little paint on the board. We don't need a lot. Um, it is chalk paint, so we might want two coats. We'll see how much coverage we get. Um, I don't think I'm going to go rustic on this. I think I want it to be cartoonish. And it doesn't need to be, you know, um, what is that? Country, farmhousey. So, and this, it's, the pencil lines are just a guide. I need to probably get a smaller paintbrush to get up there. So let's do the big part first. Now, I do like to paint my edges. If you can see, it's already getting messy. On the side here, I should get a piece of paper down too. There we go. And that's all I'm gonna do. It's just painting, nothing major. This is Basic paint inside the lines, preschool painting. So I'm gonna go back, paint it all, and I'll come back when I have the three colors on. Got my Santa painted. 
red hat, white snow. Now I'm waiting for this to completely dry so I can go back in. Oops, a little bit of the green smeared, but I can do another coat of white. But right now what we're gonna work on is transferring the face. So I have some carbon paper. I ordered this on Amazon and it came with 30 sheets and it was like $5. So that was definitely cost effective. I printed off a Grinch face, but I wanted it a little smaller. So I just kind of cut it and just condensed it a little bit. So we put this carbon paper, if you've never used it, you put the shiny side down like this. But first I need to, actually what I would like to do, I'm gonna, this piece I've used of carbon paper several times, so it's at the end of its little lifespan. Just this little piece. You can use them several times, but I want to be able to see where I want the face to go. And kind of at an angle I feel like. So his face is kind of be probably turned a little bit since this pointy here, maybe line it up with his chin. Since that'll be like his chin. You see how that worked? Then we're gonna take a pencil. And if you've never used carbon paper, it's pretty easy. You just trace the picture. And It will transfer the black carbon. I don't want to lift it till it's all drawn down. All right. Ooh, it's a little shadowy in here tonight, but that's the face. drawn on with the carbon paper. I'm gonna take my black pen and I'm gonna color it in. There's his face. Now this needs to dry. And then I'll decide if I'm gonna put yellow in his eyes. But I need to come back over and touch it up and decide if I wanna outline it in black or not. I don't know, but I love it. I think that is so cute. And I do love the Grinch. So we'll let everybody dry and we'll decide if we're gonna outline the whole thing in black and I will be back. All right, everybody, here's my finished Grinch. And if you can see, I did put a little bit of glitter. There's Alex. Say hi, buddy. Hi, baby. All right, watch out. Here's my finished Grinch. I love how it turned out. I'm super excited, and I hope you enjoyed. And you have a good one from me and Alex.